This is how to move around and resize the timeline in DaVinci Resolve. To see more audio tracks, drag this line and move it up. To see more video tracks, drag this line down to see more video tracks at the top. To zoom in on the clips on the timeline, drag this slider to the right to zoom in or drag it to the left to see more clips and zoom out of the timeline. You can also use Control plus on the keyboard to zoom in and Control and plus on the keyboard to do the same thing and zoom out. Hold down Alt on the keyboard and use the scroll wheel on your mouse to do the same thing. If you want to see all of the clips on the timeline, hold down Shift and press Z. And to go back, use Shift Z again. If you want to adjust the height of the audio and video tracks, click in this area here and drag this slider up and down to increase the height of the video tracks or make them smaller and also increase the height of the audio tracks or make the audio tracks smaller. You can also hold down shift and in this area down here, use the mouse wheel to alter the height of the audio tracks or use shift and the mouse wheel in this area here to increase the size of the video tracks or make them smaller. If you want to see more of the timeline and less of the viewers, drag up from here or if you want to see bigger views and a smaller timeline section, drag this down. If you want to resize an individual track for the audio tracks, hover the mouse below the track, hold down the left mouse button and drag down or drag up to make just that individual track smaller or larger. And for video tracks, hover above the video track and drag up or down. To navigate around the timeline, you can just drag the playhead or you can use the down arrow on the keyboard to go to the next edit point. Watch what happens when I press down. The playhead jumps to the next clip on the timeline. If I hit down again, it jumps to the start of the next clip. And if I hit down again, it jumps to the end and down again, jumps to the end of that audio and down again, jumps to the next video clip. If I press up on the keyboard, it does the opposite.